Hey guys, happy Friday. Um, just sharing something that um, we got on a podcast. We just did a podcast with Kristen Matthews, who's the um, CEO and co-founder of Tom and Sawyer. You guys have heard her on this podcast before. And Dr. Joe Inglis, who you've not met before, who runs Vet Chef in the UK. They've gotten together to do a partnership. We recorded the podcast, but realized that um, they've also just launched their joint product at um, PetSmart together. So essentially, you know, Canadian Toronto made brand um, with a collab with um, someone from overseas has launched a national product. And, and as is our fashion, we like to make sure that um, we share the good news when we see it. So um, what you're about to see are a couple of the clips um, from the podcast episode coming up. Uh, but we thought we'd just share the good news. Um, if you want to check them out, there it's called Vet Chef, and it's at PetSmart um, nationally. Um, anyway, we hope you have a wonderful long weekend, and that is all. See you later. Hey, Kenny. Joe, Joe, Joe me, Kenny. Kenny's my co-host. Uh, Hi, and Kenny. Then, Chris Again, I can't see anyone, which is really weird. But um... oh. Oh, weird. Um, I'll have to imagine what you all look like. Okay. It's not that yeah. exciting. That's we're I mean, I don't know, like Kristen looks great. Like That's Kenny different. and I are Yeah, well, we are. our voices are much, much better than we are what we are. <laughs> <laughs> You're not missing anything. Yeah, there's no missing here. <laughs> y'all look y'all look good. You're Maybe I'll I'll just I'll just leave the meeting and come back in just in case that does it. If okay. not, I won't worry. Sure, sure. no worries. Okay. Yay! I Yay. can see you now. All you right, there you go. There you go. Awesome. Yes, awesome. and you're all as beautiful as I imagined. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's Kenny all actually looks, looks pretty good. Like Kenny's on the West Coast, so he's in Vancouver. So this is six. We, appre we appreciate you, Kenny. Uh, it is. Yeah. It it's. It can be tough when you've got <clears> like. You on the West Coast, and it's then... all good. You know what it is? I just rolled out of bed, like literally, just rolled <laughs> out of bed. <laughs> yeah, because it'd be six thirty there, a.m. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. Joe and I always, Joe and I always have a struggle about what time it is. Yeah, it's half past between the two of us. Half past two in the afternoon yeah. here. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Um. All right. So I wanted to do. I I wanted to like get you um get you on because. We we spent some time with Kristen and Peter um, talking about Tom and Sawyer, but um, you know, for the for podcast listeners, you guys are doing something a little bit different. And I thought one, it's unusual. The partnership is a great one, but it's an unusual partnership. And then two, you guys are um, you guys are doing things that we really love to talk about on the podcast, right? Because you're starting to push the end of a spectrum and you're kind of like both of you have been pushing and pushing and and now particularly Kristen on the Canadian market is you've kind of pushed into an area that people are following you into that I wanted to talk about a little bit more so I thought it was an interesting podcast so um for listeners we we have Kristen Matthews who is the um she is the leader, the CEO, I guess, of Tom and Sawyer, co-founder, CEO. Is that kind of your... What a, whatever the day requires is what my title <laughs> and my task is, right? Chief the cheerleader for Tom and Sawyer. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, yeah. and then we've got... Um, Chief crybaby Joe... sometimes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whatever works. Um, and then Dr. Joe Inglis on who runs, um, who has... Uh, a veterinary practice, but also like a brand called Bet Chef in the UK as well, right? And uh, and then um, you guys have done some interesting things together. So what I thought I'd do, you know, kind of this podcast, um, we do we tend to do unscripted things. Um, but what I'd really love is, you know, for the two of you, just to Kristen, for you to remind the audience of who you are, um, and then for um, Joe, if you could, if you could tell folks who you are, and then and then we'll we'll get into it pretty quick, I think, after that. Okay. Do you want me to start? Sure. Why not? Either okay. one. Okay. Yeah. For those listeners who um, have met me before, and for those who have not, I'm Kristen Matthews. I am one of the co-founders of Tom and Sawyer. Most importantly, for Mama to Sawyer, who's the whole reason this uh, this company exists. 
So back in 2014, I brought Sawyer home and he, uh, very smart dog, straight out of the gate, refused to eat anything. It was a struggle. Um, and when I say refused to eat anything, I didn't really understand what pet food was and didn't really put two and two together that pet, what, what's in kibble really, you know, really isn't real food. And I wasn't offering him real food, uh, which most, most beans eat. Uh, and uh, I turned to, as a kind of a last resort, I turned to raw. Um, he got quite sick with E. coli poisoning. And uh, in order to uh, get him well again, the veterinarian suggested I cook some chicken and rice, and, which he very willingly consumed. And I just started to question, why is this not what I'm feeding him? And why are we feeding this? And what's on the back of the, this package? And mm. and so I said to the, the veterinarian, who is a, a friend of mine, I said, well, why don't I, like, I'll just keep feeding this. And she said, well, you know, it's not complete and balanced and they need certain nutrients and blah, blah, blah. But I can give you a cookbook and a supplement and you can start cooking. And I'm like, OK, so uh, I started doing that. I uh, I don't cook in my household. Um, Co-founder Peter, who's my husband, is the cook in, in uh, you know, in our four walls. And uh, and I was just I was cooking for this dog and I said, OK, well, we need to do something here. Um, and uh, I tried to find it out on the market. And back then there just wasn't anything. Mm -hmm. um, and so I said, well, I think this needs to exist. There's got to be more people who are looking for this. Uh, and it made me actually remember when I was a child, we had uh, miniature schnauzers growing up and every single one of them went from eating kibble to getting pancreatitis to my mom cooking for them. And so I had a conversation mm -hmm. with her and she said, yeah, you know, I spent all this time cooking for the dogs, if you remember. And I didn't because I was a spoiled <laughs> child and didn't notice all the things my mom was doing, including cooking for the dog. Um, and so I just said, you know what, this needs to exist. And uh, so that was 2015 and fast forward to today. There is a lot of gently cooked uh, that's that's you know available out there, and I think it's a fantastic thing. I feel like every other day I have somebody sending me um, an email saying, "Oh, look, you got a competitor. Somebody's trying to to you know to imitate you." And I say, "Great," because it's a category that's needed. Um, it's not a category if there's only one person and or one brand in it. And uh, so I had the pleasure. Um, I don't know how long ago now it's been, I feel I would be like, oh, it's a year ago, but I think it's more than a year ago now, Joe. I, I had the pleasure of more than a, me than a year ago meeting Joe, um, who's doing awesome things across the pond and uh, and. The rest is history that we'll talk about in a moment, but I'll let him introduce what he's doing over in the UK. Yeah, thanks, Kristen. Um... So my background is I'm a, a veterinarian in the UK, um, but I've been interested in nutrition for many years. And I uh, started off you know, with um, dry food brands you know, in my in the early days of nutrition and then to sort of work through a process of, of thinking, well, actually, is, are there better options than dry food and educating myself about the benefits of, of fresh whole foods and going down the journey a bit like Kristen of, of home cooking for pets. And I wrote a cookbook for pets probably 15 years ago and started off you know really investigating that and, and through my practice as a vet seeing the benefits that nutrition could bring and seeing um you know the dogs that have been very ill switching to fresh diets and and seeing a real um transformation in their health and well-being and, and then really seeing the parallels with with human nutritional uh, progress that's happened over this similar time scale of, of how we now understand the perils of ultra processed food in our own diet and the the um the situation is very similar for our pets so i founded vet chef um probably about four years ago now really focused initially on promoting healthy homemade recipes so helping pet parents cook healthily balanced meals for their pets particularly when they had health problems so for dogs with renal problems or heart problems or um digestive issues specific diets that met those nutritional needs with with that veterinary expertise built into them and then about nine months ago, we actually kind of followed Christian's lead and, and sort of started going down the route of, of making the meals ourselves and selling them as, as fresh frozen produce, which is, is really starting to take off over here in the UK. And then, yeah, as, as Christian said, we, we met however long ago it was now, 18 months ago, and realized that we were on very similar trajectories and we had very similar ethos and philosophy about nutrition for pets and the benefits it could bring, but also crucially that we had quite different 
maybe skill sets and and what we could bring to the table and, and that ultimately led to us collaborating and you know i think it's a really exciting partnership bringing what tom and sawyer have got to offer and what vet chef have got to offer and, and creating something which is you know synergistic and and hopefully offers more than either of us could offer on our own exactly it's pretty cool right kenny kenny's waking up but he i can i can see the wheels turning oh it's yeah i mean <laughs> Just keep going. We'll, we'll, we'll get into it. I'm just, yeah, I, I, I was fascinated by this one. <laughs> Thank you. And, you know, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't be me if, if I didn't also try to push the envelope a little bit further. So, so yeah. I, Joe, uh, you know, Joe and our team got even a little bit crazier. Um, we were like, what else we, can we do? You know, cause you know, he's done gently cooked. I've done gently cooked. How could we like supercharge this even more and innovate even more? And so, you know, we we started talking about, um, you know, like it, it first started as like frozen little um, like booster cubes that you could put on top of, a, you know, a, a meal. But then we're like, well, you know, because I look at everything as it's like, well, what can a little dog eat? Because Sawyer so small and we're and we're like, well, that'll take a long time to defrost or he could choke or blah, blah. So we kept kind of iterating and iterating. I wish I had a bottle with me. They're downstairs. Um, and we we came up with a two step system. Each can be done individually, but they're but they're uh, it's enhanced if they're together. And the first step is the is the complete and balanced meal. The second step is a wellness booster. So you know, following that the thought of the human trend of those you know those gut shots, you know your fiery ginger or whatever you know yeah. like juice yeah. gut shots for for humans. We've made a line of four different um, wellness boosters for dogs um, that you can just pour a serving over top of their food, or you could, you know, freeze it into cubes if you wanted or, or, or whatnot. Um, but that targets a certain condition, whether it's joint, uh, skin and coat, digestion. Uh, and Dr. Joe and our animal nutrition team put together uh, a super pack of, you know, vitamins or herbs or whatever that goes with mm. it together with a, uh, a probiotic, um, like a kefir, a water kefir, a carrier to it. And uh, and so you've got these two uh, synergistic wellness products, um, either together or individually. But seeing these well, like you know, these kind of gut shot wellness shots for dogs. Like there's like I looked around. I'm like, how does how has nobody done this before? It is such a great mm. great idea, and it the execution of it is. Uh, it was yeah, I mean, top notch by the team. Like it looks so, it's so good. I can't wait to, to to get something similar over here. I mean, that's one of the frustrations is we're making all these amazing products which are available in Canada, but I haven't got them over here. I haven't got them in the UK yet. So we, yeah. we need to work out a way of doing that. But we'll, I think we'll, one of the we'll great things about those those wellness shots is the fact that they they kind of they're not just applicable to fresh frozen diets, which you know not everyone is for whatever reason going to be feeding their diet their, their dog on, on that kind of food. But with mm -hmm. these wellness boosters, they can take that be benefits of, of, of fresh, um, you know, high quality nutrition, and they can add it to whatever type of food, whether it be raw or kibble or wet food, and it just adds that extra dash of of healthy goodness. Um, so it feels like we're we're able to reach more pets. Uh, more dogs in this way and, and spread you know spread the goodness further by by expanding beyond the kind of what is always going to be a, a, a niche of, of those kind of um fresh frozen whole foods but you know th this expands our reach considerably so so let's let this is probably a good moment so let's talk about this partnership and what it really means so so tom and saw your vet chef you've gotten together mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. what did you guys build and what is it meals like you know we've heard meals boosters all this stuff do you guys want to just take this apart a little and like tell the audience what it is exactly sure yeah so we i mean we we took as a starting point i mean the very successful tom and Sawyer range of, of fresh frozen meals so it's sort of whole foods human grade ingredients that's been doing really well in canada and what i think a vet chef we brought was that kind of scientific veterinary perspective of well how can we take these to the next level add some specific um science-backed ingredients that are going to elevate the, the nutritional profile of these foods and deliver kind of real world health benefits. And that's really the starting point of what we did. So we, we created a, um, a bespoke supplement mix that we've included in those range, which again has taken that veterinary knowledge and expertise and, and nutritional knowledge to, to add that into these recipes. Um, the recipes themselves are, are kind of newly developed 
to incorporate that. And then, as Kristen said, we've got these boosters, which are the, facilitate this kind of two-stage way of feeding. So you can mix and match between the, the recipes and the boosters to get the bespoke combination of health benefits and long-term support that your, your dog needs. So it's a really exciting and, and really unique proposition that's, to my knowledge, not been done anywhere else. And I think it's it's just pushing that pet nutrition envelope to the next level. And it's, yeah, it's massively exciting. Yeah. And so even if you, you only fed the, um, you know, the complete and balanced meal as either, a, you know, a, a full diet or as a topper, uh, what's included in all of those seven recipes that we have is called the the EHS blend, the Everyday Health Supplement Blend. Um, and it's got, uh, you know, a powerhouse of stuff in it that um, supports healthy joints and heart and urinary um, uh, and then the immune system as well. So it's got things like marshmallow root and astragalus, which are things I didn't even know existed, and L-cartanine mm -hmm. and turmeric. Um, and uh, what else is in that blend? I'm trying to think about what 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 are all the things that we put in there? Um, oh yeah, and there's prebiotics in you know yeah. in that one as well, and some and some chia seeds. Um, Get glucosamine in there um, as well. So uh, Joe put together this pack of uh, you know of things that he has years and years and years of experience within his veterinary and nutrition world um, that that he knows supports just a you know a, you know a healthy dog every day. Mm, this is very cool. Um, okay, so so you've got so you you guys have put this together, and then when uh, has it? when does it launch has it launched uh, yeah we it? we yeah yeah so we 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 literally just launched um we're uh, as our as our initial launch available in all pet smart stores across canada um and then we'll be rolling out uh you know later in the year to you know to make it available more wildly widely but um, and wildly but widely uh but the <laughs> but the main but the but the the first launch was um you know was putting it uh you know in PetSmart because it it did allow us to to get across canada from you know east coast to west coast quite um you know quite quickly and and you know our our goal and Joe's goal as well, which is why we've got this collaboration, is we we just want to bring really good, honest nutrition made very, very well to as many pet parents and pets across the world as possible. This is in pet smarts right across the country. And then if people yeah. want to find out more, where do they website, socials, where, yeah. where do they Vetchef.pet is the is the the Tom and Sawyer and Vet Chef uh, site for the okay. the line of the seven meals and the four complimentary wellness boosters. Awesome, awesome. Um, Are either of you on LinkedIn? If someone wanted to oh, sort yeah. of reach out or DM you on that side, maybe with a little bit more of a you know, not personal, like don't handle phone numbers, no emails. No, but is there, are there mediums where they can get to you? Maybe a little easier. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm happy for people to find me on on LinkedIn. So yeah, yeah I, I'm there and yeah, happy to connect. Okay. Yeah, Joe's. You know, it, with the with the vet chef, whether you see vet chef or vet chef um, uh, dot pet or the vet chef you, or Tom and Sawyer, any any of those combinations thereof, you're gonna either find our 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 separate businesses or our combined businesses, and um, you know we. We work collaboratively, so you can kind of find us, and then we'll make sure that we, you know, we get we get you into the right country. So, yeah, well, it's, it's all good, man. It's a worldwide thing, so I think you guys are doing really cool shit here. I think it's really cool. I really is. I think it's just long overdue, right? Long overdue. Thank you. But yeah. it's good. At least it's a start. And plug away, baby. Thanks, guys. Thank Thanks for doing yeah. this. Thanks Pleasure. for having us on. I got us. This is super interesting.